I'm a, it's going to be on the screen, but I'm going to flip to Romans 16. This is what it says. He says this. <laughs> oh, man, it blows my mind. You can put it on the screen now. But he told them to greet Priscilla and Aquila. <laughs> and he said, my, these are my fellow workers in Christ Jesus who risked their necks for my life, to whom not only I give thanks, but all the churches and, and the Gentiles give thanks as well. Greet also the church in their house. So it's more than just those two people that he's telling them to greet. He's saying the church inside their house. And then he says, greet my beloved Apeonitis. And then he goes on and says, greet Mary and Andronicus and Junia and all these different people. There are over 30 names that are mentioned right here. There are over 30 people that he's talking about. So when I go back and I read those words, I long to see you and you're in my prayers. Man, I got to think that this was his prayer list. I got to think that these were the names of the people that he was praying for. And he knew them by name and all these different things that happened to greet those workers in the Lord and greet all these people that helped him greet his kinsmen and all these other men and women that he knew. These were people he loved. He had grown to love people he was praying for. Do you know your people like that? Can you sit down and maybe do this? Can you write all their names out by name and what they need prayer for? Church, I was convicted about that when I read those words because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know them like that. And honestly, the reason that I would walk away from some Sundays feeling like I wasn't encouraged is because I didn't know them like that. Like Paul knew the people that, that he wrote to in Rome these Gentiles and these Jews that he wrote to in Rome. And it amazes me, y'all. It amazes me that, that God shows us just in this letter how we ought to love the people that we lead. We ought to love them so much that we'll be able to do this, be able to sit down and even write them a letter and say, hey, guess what? I'm praying for you. And encourage others to pray for them also. We have to be people that pray for our people. 